Welcome back, everyone! Are you ready for the power of succession today? I don't know, are you? You tell me, everyone. Okay, let's do this! I am ready! And that is the whole truth of this case. Mason System, Episode 4, Turn on Succession. Oh my gosh, it's the world! Minutes! 72, 78, 82, 80. 136 out of 78, something. Zero! Oh, he's dead! No! How could he? In order to understand it myself, I had to know the story of these last seven long years. It's the poker game again, everyone! Nothing happens by chance. All is connected. And now, you stand ready to begin the final chapter of this story. Wait, is this actually the last case of the game? <laughs> or is there... Is there going to be a case 5? Huh. I wonder, actually. Will the defendant be found guilty or innocent? The decision is yours. Oh, the return of a legend! Jade Curtis himself! I mean, Christoph Gavin? Huh? Is that you? Uh, October 7th, 10.37 a.m. Write Anything Agency. Hey, Apollo! Look on TV! Look, look! Yeah, uh, I'm kind of busy. Whoa, look at that! He's the last Grimari, all right? Amazing! Dot, 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 dot. Apollo! You should be watching this! Ow, ow, ow. What? What? I was writing about our last case in my journal. Your last case from several months ago. My gosh, why are you just writing about it now? Lawyers are supposed to write things in records, Apollo, not journals. And why now? That case was three- exactly. Three months ago! Hey, it's a long story. I did a lot, you know. I want to vacuum pack the feel of the moment for later. And then you can say I'm really feeling it later on. <laughs> I don't know. Right now I'm wowing the crowd by figuring out how Lamoror disappeared. That's right! Uncle Valen did that illusion too! But you're missing him on TV right now! <sighs> I was just getting to the good part. I suppose I should watch a little TV with her. After all, her father's expecting me to look after her while he's away. What you're now seeing is a, is a rehearsal for the greatest magic show on Earth. Happening right here in our very own Sunshine Coliseum. The Sunshine Coliseum. Hey, that's where the Gaviniers concert was. Only three more days until miracles happen here. Right before your unbelieving eyes. The legendary Troop Grimari is performing for the first time in seven years. That's going to be great! I'm so there! You and Daddy are coming too! The legendary Grimari's. If Trucy's real father were still alive, he'd be on that stage performing miracles. I've got the tickets and everything! Here's yours, Apollo! Magic show tickets received! Squeak! Ah, you are here. Working hard or hardly working? Hey, how have you been? Hi there, stranger! Not exactly the kind of greeting I'd want to hear from my own kid. Oh, well, you never know. Maybe it would be. For a mere showing of a grand illusion to be performed by the magician Valens Grimare! Anyway, what does this, what does it have to say? Anything? Nothing? Nothing on the front? Let's see, let's zoom in on that a little bit. Ooh, magic show. I can't even read that. So something about on stage, it looks like. $70, though. Is that what that says? My gosh, that's pretty expensive, actually. For just a little magic show ticket. Are you ready, Apollo? Ready? For what? For what? For the Troop Grimari Grand Magic Show! It's not like I'm getting up on stage or anything. What are you talking about, Apollo? You can't enjoy magic if you're not part of what's going up on stage. 
Oh, I need my spare costume! You need one! Huh? You mean I can't go in this? No! Doesn't get more straightforward than that. I suppose not, anyway. Well, either way, didn't really have it. I don't know, I expected to comment about the price, like, oh, this is expensive, man, jeez. Anyway, though, he has been gone a long time. <laughs> How goes it, Trucy? Here, I got a present for you. Yeah, pudding! I love pudding! Oh, it's farm fresh! And not just one pudding, but three whole cups! I'll have to pace myself! Well, I'm beat. That's right, Daddy! You're on a top secret mission! You've got to take it easy with the secrets, you know! <laughs> How right you are. So you still can't tell us what your mission is? Dot 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 dot. Maybe it is time. It has something to do with you anyway. Huh? With me? Oh! Maybe you're getting a top secret mission too! Maybe you can be one of those guys! A spy! Can't I just be a defense attorney? <laughs> to be honest, telling you about the mission was my whole reason for coming here today. What? Tell me. You've heard of the Juris system, right? Yes, or something? I don't know. The Juris system? That's right, the new legal system everyone's talking about. Have you heard of it, Apollo? Huh? Uh, maybe? Dot, 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 dot. Maybe not as many people are talking about it as I thought. The Juris system, huh? Well, Apollo, if you're in law, you should be literally one of the first people to hear about this, but apparently not, because, yeah, I don't know, you're kind of crazy. So anything new to examine here? Well, I'm going to at least examine the plant, anyway. The plant intrigues you, doesn't it? Not really, it's just the only thing in here that doesn't have some secret function. <laughs> no, no secrets, but lots of memories, and a name, too. Want to hear it? Not really. His name is Charlie, if you were curious. Really, I wasn't. Not to mention, you should have already known too. Which, eh? You know, I just want to be sure here. Is this a picture of Balan Grimari here? Because it honestly kind of looks like it. That magician in the photo is that your? Oh, never mind. Well, it looks like Balan anyway. My real daddy. Yep, Zach Grimari. Maybe he looks just like Balan. Who knows? Maybe they're twins for some reason. He disappeared when I was little. I hung that up there so I wouldn't forget what he looked like. I see. She's smiling, but I'll bet that smile doesn't go very deep. How do you know? You don't know that, Apollo. Anyway, though, let's present some things to you, Phoenix. How you doing? Ah, presenting, are we? I did my fair share of that back in the day. Showed my attorney's badge a lot, too. <laughs> Gosh dang it. He may look cool and calm now, but you should have seen him before. He was like, are you aware I'm a lawyer? <laughs> you know me too well, Trucy. I'm glad I provided this opportunity for a little family bonding. Anyway, magistrate ticket. Ah, presenting, okay. I thought maybe that has something to do with the attorney's badge. And he, you know, he literally said something about the attorney's badge, but okay, whatever, fine. I don't care, game, I don't care. No, I do care, actually. No, I do care about leaving randomly. Ahem, I wasn't finished talking to you, you know. Or rather, you weren't finished asking me questions. I try to fight it, I can't win. You know, let me just walk out the front door, and I'm sure no one will notice, right? <laughs> the Juris System! So, Daddy, what's this Juris System thing? Well, Trucy, do you know what a jury is? I've heard of it! Isn't that those people who sit in the court in those old courtroom dramas? The ones who get to decide if a guy's innocent or guilty? Do you know Apollo? Only from TV. It's 12 people chosen from the community, right? Well, they're thinking about reviving that system. They're calling the new system the Jura system. No more doing whatever you like, Your Honor! Not quite that hard, should Juris cooperate with the judge. They help analyze the case from different angles. Ah, and there will be, uh, be only six of them under the current proposal, right? Wow, you know your stuff, Apollo! I guess he has been doing his research after all, then, apparently. Their findings directly affect the verdict. Hopefully, people will start taking the courts a little more seriously now. I feel like I'm on some kind of educational TV show! Starring Dr. Wright! <laughs> Dr. Wright is Assistant Trucy. And Mascot Apollo, the perfect team. Mascot? Hey! Hey! Don't you call me a mascot, man! Jeez. 
The secret mission. So, what is this secret mission? Is it to call me a mascot all day long? I hope so. The joy system is my mission, more or less. Anyway, keep in mind that new ideas like this system are always risky, Apollo. Too true! Everyone's got an opinion and they just talk and talk and nothing gets decided. Kinda like you, Apollo. Uh, I'm not that bad, am I? In any case, we're going to give it a shot. A test, if you will. I don't like tests! We'll take a case as a sample and choose six jurors. I'll be the one helping with that process, incidentally. Helping? How? Well, for one, I'll be chair of the juror system simulated court committee. The chair constructs the ideal situation, choosing the case, the juror's candidates, even the judge and the courtroom. Wow, it's like you have a real job! I was never that good at the piano, to be honest. Uh, once a lawyer, always a lawyer, I guess. The trial's tomorrow, by the way. Don't miss it. The trial simulation, that is. A simulation, huh? That sounds interesting! So, what kind of case is the trial simulation about? Well, since it is the first run through of a new system, I wanted to something simple. Good thinking! No sense wearing yourself out on something too serious! True, the case is a murder. That's not simple at all! I said, well, did you... Do you mean that the defendant is... Guilty. Yes, most likely. So good luck, Apollo. Um, with what? With the trial tomorrow. You're defending, of course. Recall that I said it had something to do with you. Go for it, Apollo! It's just a test case anyway, no sweat! Yeah, but there's still a verdict to be decided. And a potentially serious sentence. The most serious in a worst-case scenario. Ack, you mean the verdict's for real? That's not a test trial, that's a real trial! All the forms have been filed, there's no turning back now. The trial begins tomorrow at 10am, hope you can make room in your schedule. But why am I only hearing about this now? Ah yes, there was a change this morning. I picked a new case. Eh? Something that happened last night. Ooh, I see, yes, that sounds intriguing. Or does it? Valid Grimari! Hey, Apollo, I know you're all excited about the secret mission, but what about this? The Troop Grimari Grand Magic Show! Huh? Oh, right, the card tricks. They're not card tricks! They're grand illusions! Miracles! Something else! So what? That's three whole days from now. It's at Sunshine Coliseum! Let's go! Let's go today! We didn't say hi to Uncle Valent! Have fun. What? I can't go by myself. You know I'm not very outgoing. What? Is someone lying here, perhaps? Well, I don't know. Right. Why not go with her? Maybe she's only outgoing with people she knows. I don't I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's not like she was super outgoing. Well, at least I don't think she was when we first met. So I don't I don't really know. Maybe she is telling the truth and it's only outgoing when with people she's familiar with. But what about the secret mission? Oh, don't worry about that. You'll hear all about it tomorrow, regardless. I don't trust that smile. He knows something that he's not telling me. Yippee! Now you can take me to the Coliseum! <sighs> Suppose I wouldn't kill me to pop over there. Ah, Grimari. That reminds me. What's this, Daddy? Isn't that so cat the Grimari seal? Consider it a birthday present, Trucy. Thanks, it's great! But... Today isn't my birthday! Hmm. Good point. What day is it today, Apollo? Huh? Today? Um, I think it's Recycle Your Plastics Day. Then it's Recycle Your Plastics present. Yippee! So it's plastic! I've given up trying to understand them. It's much easier that way. So what is it? Can I open it, Daddy? No. Huh? You'll need that envelope someday. Someday soon. Don't open it until then. Dot 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 dot! Well, why did you just hold on to it until then? Because that would be the logical thing to do. Grimari envelope obtained. An envelope about the Grimaris, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. Let's check our new evidence, shall we? Envelope for Mr. Ray. Do not open until the time is right. Alright. Well, let's try and open it right now. Let's see. Let's see if he says anything. 
Or maybe I'll just be like, nah, don't open it, man. It's just, don't even think about it. That's, uh, that's an awful thing to do. Oh, I don't want to open it. Is it signed by Phoenix Wright himself? Ah, looky here, a handwritten signature. It says, I can't read it. <laughs> that seems odd to me. I mean, it isn't, it isn't a signature intended to show ownership? What's the use if no one can read it? Isn't it enough if you can read your own? Oh, I never thought of it that way! I suppose so, but then again, if you're the only one who can read it, I mean, how can you prove that it's yours? What if it's like, Jesus, I can't tell this is anyone's. It could be someone's, but not really. Still 33, still 15. No one ages up in these games. It's kind of weird. Phoenix, I know you're secretly 37 years old, and you're not, and you're just, you're lying about your age right now. We've just gone like 7,000 years in the future, didn't we? The trial simulation. Ugh, math. Oh boy. All right. So, what case are you going to use? You really want to know, don't you? Of course I do. I mean, I'm going to be defending, aren't I? If all goes well, then yes, of course. This is just a test. You wanted everyone to start without preconceptions. A blank slate, as it were. There's a difference between having a blank slate and just being totally clueless. Whose dumb idea was that, anyway? Well, mine. Committee chair, remember? Oh. Well, if you want to know that badly, I suppose. I could give you permission to examine the scene of the crime. Good, that's better. But you can't talk to anyone involved with the case. What? Then how am I supposed to defend? You let me worry about the details there. Remember, I'm in charge of this trial, all of it. But you don't want it to backfire, do you? Apollo, if I am in charge of the whole trial, that means the entire affair is my responsibility, for good or for bad. He looks so like, mad when he makes that face. I mean, that's that's not the first time he's done that, at least in this case alone. I don't know if he's done it before this case, but I don't remember anyway. But my gosh, it looks like, that's almost like a weird, angry phoenix face there. Dot, dot, dot. Just do what you can. And don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Uh, alright. I recommend going down to the detention center. Your client's waiting for you. You can ask about the scene there. But you just said I couldn't talk to anyone involved. Oh, you can talk to your client. If you can get her to talk. Well, time's a wasting. Yeah, I can't wait to waste some time here. Wasting time, wasting time. I do like wasting time. Oh, yeah, that's actually one thing I have to present, isn't there? Anyway, though, ah, presenting, aren't we? You know, it's, it's kind of cool to do that. I love doing that myself. I like telling people that I'm a lawyer. It's a lot of fun. You should do it sometime, man. Man, we're not even leaving the same location. Why? Why? October 7th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot! 20 minutes we've been waiting here. 20 minutes! Maybe I should complain! I'm sure that guard has better things to do than stand there pretending he doesn't see us! You know, the minute we get angry, the client will show. It always works that way. Like shouting, oh, waiter! And they're standing right behind you? Oh, guard! Is our client going to be much longer? What are you talking about? Haven't you already started the meeting yet? Huh? Oh my gosh. Eek! Well, where did you come from? Well, anyway, please have a seat. Hmm. I wonder what voice I should be giving her. I'm nervous, Apollo! It's a silence. It builds suspense. Why don't you do something, Trucy? You're a magician, aren't you? That's right! Okay! I have a puppet in my... cape. I, I, I don't know. I'm the amazing Mr. Hat! Bud. Eek! She passed out! Hmm. Miss Magic Underwear might have been a better bet. That's magic panties to follow! Well then, I mean, that was pretty easy to make her pass out anyway, so what do we do here? What do we do here? We present some evidence first. I'll present evidence first. We only have three things after all. So anyway, let's do that. Um, see this here? Da -da 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 um, does it ring any bells? Does anything I say ring anything? 
Probably not. Probably not, anyway. Would you say something, darn you? My gosh! I swear, I'm not making up with, I'm not making up any voices for her until... Honestly, she seems like kind of a normal person, though, so... I don't know. She's probably not going to get anything dramatic. Or will she? Who knows? Introductions? Um, uh, hi! What, not hiya? Come on, man. Well, I'm your defense. I really think it has to be fate, you know. Are you sure, are you sure about that? <laughs> Did you make your choice? Anyway, whatever. And by fate, I mean destiny. Did you know I'm good with astrology? What is your point, Apollo? Gosh dang it. Tell me, what's your sign? What are you doing? I can tell you mine if you like, Apollo. No, never mind. I just got carried away there. I seem destined to get difficult clients, it seems. Apparently so, anyway. It's the same thing. Um, so, what's your name? Oh, right. I'm supposed to introduce myself first. I'm Apollo. Apollo Justice! And I'm Trucy Wright! I know. This is getting nowhere fast. Indeed! Hey, I know. Maybe you can tell us what happened. I'm your defense attorney, after all. Um, anything out of the ordinary happened lately? Well, the other day, this tourist from out of town stopped to ask me questions. Later, Trucy. I feel like I need to ask directions myself here. Well, that was fruitless. But I think I understand despair a little better now. You did good, Apollo! But look, she's doing her nails! What? Are nails more important than the fence? Is that it? Let's go, Trucy. Excuse me. Oh. Da da da. Hmm. Okay, now I have to think of a voice for. Hmm. Could could you let's could you read this? Um. Sure. I don't know. Like I said, I don't think I should be giving her anything dramatic because she doesn't seem like like a, a crazy. Per well, I don't know. She doesn't seem like a crazy person. Um. Sure. I feel like a teenager on a first date. And this is the love this is the love letter we pass from desk to desk at school. Stop looking so wistful and read it, Apollo! It it's a business card with a name and an address. The name is Vera Misham or Misham? I don't even know. The address is for Drew Studio. Vera's card added to the court record. And you're giving me this card because. <laughs> Dot, 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 dot. Well, looks like we're finished here. I wonder if Drew's studio is the scene of the crime. Let's go find out. It's a possibility that it might be the scene of the crime anyway, but you don't know until you actually go there, right? I don't want to go to Drew's studio right now. I want to go to freaking Sunshine Hall. See you, man. Actually, wait a second. I just got new. I just got some new evidence here, didn't I? Well, let's look at this. Oh, my gosh, three pieces of paper here. Three pieces of paper. Defendant's business card. The address for Drew Studio is on the front. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and see what's so special about this car then. That's nice, that's nice. Very, very nice indeed. What is that? What is that? I see a little red thing there. What a pretty business card! Looks like a postcard almost! And on the back, hmm. What's your name? That seems odd to me! Huh? What does? Why write your name on the front and back of the card? Why don't you use the space on the back for a self portrait? Or a care catcher, or something like that. I don't know. Then people would remember what you look like too. It's not a bad idea, actually. Here, give me one of your cards, Apollo. He's drawing something. Hey, my hair's not that spiky. I want to see the drawn picture, though. They're not gonna show us. Well, that's a shame. They really shouldn't show us that kind of stuff, shouldn't they? Anyway, new profile. Age 19, my client apparently. I know nothing other than her name and mailing address. Anyway, is that so? Alright, Phoenix, let's present this new card to you because it's so good. Ah, presenting! I can't believe it! That's insane, really. Apollo, what are you doing? You don't, you don't present this kind of stuff to other defense attorneys of the past? October 7th, Sunshine Coliseum. Woohoo! This is it, Apollo! The place where magic and dreams converge! So a while ago, it was the place where murder and nightmares converge. Let's go say hi to Uncle Valent! 
What about the case? Oh! <laughs> Holy reformer laughs like that! The young Miss Trucy! I knew it was me! How often I hoped we would meet again, only to tell myself it was an impossible dream! Tee <laughs> Uncle Valent, how's it going? I'm glad to see you too! Of course you are! Humility is definitely not one of his stronger traits. Well, Miss Trucy, how does the day find you? If you've come to give me flowers, do it after the show, I beg you! Actually, we came to wish you good luck! Congratulations on your big magic show! Oh, but it is I who wish to congratulate you! Not everyone is so lucky as to witness miracles such as I shall perform! Yeah, yeah, you're amazing. We get the picture. The world will watch in wonderment as Magnifi's illusions are reborn! By the way, Apollo, you are correct. This guy is amazing. <laughs> And I'm glad he's not a murderer, too. Here on stage by my hand! Well, anyway. It's time, shall we? What do you think, Valent? Ah <laughs> A challenge, is it? You want me to make that disappear? Very well! Give it to me! Ah, no, no, no thanks. Are all magicians like this? Apollo, what was that look just now? I was just thinking how hard it is to get any information out of a magician. I suppose so, anyway. Ah ha ha! That's amazing, man! Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about this. Ah ha! Why that bear is a Grimari seal! Hmm. Uncle Valen, is something wrong? Trucy, where did you get this? Huh? Um, Daddy gave it to me! Your... 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 your da, 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 daddy! No, no, no! My other daddy, Phoenix Wright! Why now? Why would your Lord Daddy... Lord Daddy? <laughs> That's kind of stretching the whole archaic thing a bit. This signature upon the back, do you recognize it? That belongs other belongs to none other than Zack Gramare. What? Daddy signed this? Might I be so bold as to open it? I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. What's in this envelope, I wonder? Hmm, I don't know. What could he have written? Is it... Balance, you didn't do it, did you? Oh my gosh, I... You're responsible for this. Bear's card. Ah! <laughs> oh, whoops. Well, I, whatever. You know what? I just want to do that laugh again. Or did I? <laughs> anyway, though. My gosh. Actually, wait a second. The thing in the background's actually changed. Well, at least one of them has. Let's see. What does this one say? They changed the signs in their last case. It was all Gavineers back then, wasn't it? I hope nothing bizarre and mysterious happens this time. But it shall! Why, the show itself will be bizarre and mysterious, I assure you! I don't have a problem with mystery as long as it's legal. I don't think lawyers and magicians were really meant to have conversations like this! I guess... I don't really know. Anyway, hey, what's up, Valor? How are you doing? Are you ready for the big magic show? Everyone's talking about the big magic show! Is it true that the Grimari miracle is back after a seven-year absence? Miss Trucy, I must apologize. This show and this honor should have been his. Daddy! My co-magician in training, Zach Grimari. If that terrible thing hadn't... It's okay! Your father was a great magician, Trucy. If he were alive, then I, Valent Grimari would have been proud to stand upon this stage as his assistant. Thanks, Uncle Valent! You know, I'm happy you're doing the show. The think, we get to see the great Magnifee's illusions again! She really is looking forward to this, isn't she? Why wouldn't she? I mean, it only makes sense. Magnifee Grimari. My mentor, the magnificent Magnifee Grimari, was a true deity among magicians. 
A creator god who gave birth to magic and illusions that defied our very imaginations. I was so little when I last saw one, but I still remember his shows. He did wheelies in a sports car through the air above the audience, and then sped off to outer space faster than the speed of sound. I'm guessing the memory was a bit embellished. For seven long years, the world has been waiting for a miracle to match his. As heir to the Grimari Troop's secrets, it falls to me to provide one. It is my God-given destiny. Um... Yes! You, nameless face who speaks for the nameless masses, how can I help you? If the, if the world was waiting, why did you hold off for seven long years? Hmm. It appears the lad is uninformed. Perhaps you have heard of the magic known as law, which governs our land. I have, though I'm not sure it qualifies as magic. The performance of Magnifi's miracle was impossible. A certain law prevented it for seven years, but no more. Seven years. I'm pretty sure it likes to pop up, doesn't it? And why was that? A little matter called performing rights, Miss Trucy. Performing rights? Performance rights, I should say. Can you tell us about these performance rights? Magnifi's magic relied on an incredible, inno incredibly innovative idea. A trick, if you will. That trick was considered his property, and as such was protected by property laws. Intellectual property, maybe? Magnifi knew this and bequeathed it in his will to one person. You mean him? Yes, Miss Trucy. It was your father. Zach Grimari was the inheritor of the Grimari Miracle. Daddy! Yet, as you well know, he is gone. He disappeared suddenly seven years ago. I think I see where the story is going. Once a person is classified missing for a certain period of time, they're considered legally deceased, correct? In all absoluteness, those rolled up sleeves can seal your competence well, young man. That certain period of time of which you speak is seven years. Ah! Yes, Miss Trucy, though it pains me to say, this past spring, April to be precise, was the time your father was legally declared deceased. In the absence of a formal will, the secrets of our mighty mentor Magnifi passed to me. This was, in fact, stipulated in the will by Magnifi himself. Is that how it works, Apollo? Yeah, it's called death and absentia. He's declared missing permanently. Daddy! Well, that's rather unfortunate now, isn't it? So, nothing else to present, so I guess we're gonna just go ahead and move somewhere anyway. I guess to the Drew Studio, why not? Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I should have left that as a cliffhanger. Oh, well. October 7th, Drew Studio. Wow. This looks like... It looks like a studio. It looks life-imitating art! It looks like life-imitating art! Or maybe it's the other way around, hmm. But the tape on the ground there, it's a bit jarring! Yeah, looks like we found our crime scene. Apollo, look at all those paintings! Hey, don't touch those. It's okay, I'm just looking! Huh, this is interesting. Is that a pufferfish? Oh my gosh, pufferfish are amazing! Huh? Apollo, look at this one! Looks half finished, you can still see the rough sketch underneath. Really? I mean, it kind of looks like it's like a complete painting to me. But that's odd, the rough part doesn't look like the rest of the painting at all! Yeah, good point, that is odd. Landscape. Drew Misham's paintings added to the court record. Oh my gosh, we added all of them. All oh, the paintings have a really different style, too! Well, I guess I'll go ahead and look at these real quick. I'm painting Drew's studio. The bit in the middle is supposed to be a person. I had a feeling, but it wasn't really... 
100% clear, I guess. So let's see. Well, what do we have here? It looks like a person thinking about something. Maybe they're worried! Like, what should I have for supper? A hot dog or a hamburger? Dot, 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 dot! You know, I've always wondered about that! Why is there supper and dinner? Are they different meals or the same thing? Maybe that's what this person's thinking about. Maybe. What about the rest of this painting? Is there anything else here? I'm just gonna make a border here, and there's nothing there. Anything on the backside? No. Nothing at all. Well, that's rather unfortunate. Anyway, so next painting. Let's see. That says this is portrait, and this is an ac acrylic. Okay, I don't know what that is. Why, not, why is that not a portrait too? Well, whatever. It's in a Drew Studio, an undersea scene in vivid colors. Did I read this one. Oh, it's supposed to be person. Okay, so I did read that one. So then, how about this one? Is that a puffer fish? That's what I thought. Apollo, that's clearly a porcupine fish! They're not the same thing. You know what gets me? They've got all these needles, right? But what's protecting that soft spot in the lower belly there? Nothing! Let's remember to keep Trucy away from small round fish. Why? It's not like she has some kind of weird obsession with things that curl up in the balls like a certain character from Tales of Zestaria, but I don't know. You never know. <laughs> maybe she maybe she does. Obtained at Drew Studio. Only half finished. The rough sketch is still visible. What is the rough sketch? Is that black part? I mean, what, what are you trying to say here? Well, given that's where the exam is, that must be what they're talking about. I thought that was an art direction, but apparently not. It's fine. Paul, look at this painting! You can see the rough sketch! Oh, it looks like it was only half completed. Huh, that's funny! Do the rough sketch and the finished painting look totally different to you, too? They do, actually. What's that all about? I can't actually tell what that's supposed to be. I mean, is it really supposed to be something completely different? Huh, well, whatever it is, I can't tell. I mean, may maybe something else. Hey, what about the backside? Nothing. Nothing crazy over there. Oh, well, anyway. All the paintings have a really different style, too! Hmm. Ah, I thought I might find you two here. Oh, freaking Emma, gosh dang it. Emma, long time no see! I was ready to, like, do a cliffhanger, too, if it was gonna be someone new. You'd be like, oh, we're gonna talk to this person in the next exciting episode, but... No, 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 that would be freaking Emma. Thanks, Emma! Emma, long time no see! Oh? Seems like I run into you far too often. I'll bet I know why you're here, too. You know about the trial simulation tomorrow? I've heard about it, sure. So Mr. Wright chose you, huh? You don't even know what the case is about. Well, he was killed. The artist who owns this studio, that is. Mr. Drew Misham. Misham! And his daughter was put under arrest. Yeah, we just saw her at the detention center. It was funny, though! She seemed more like a victim than the kind of person who could commit murder! You don't say. I even my poison, that's how it was done, you know. Poisoning is a common way to get the job done when the murderer is a woman. Uh, po poisoning? Anyway, Mr. Wright told me you'd be coming. Feel free to take a look at it. Take, take a look around. I'll just be over here with my snackoos. We can't talk to anyone related to this case this time around. Which means we better find out as much as we can here at the scene. Or else. Huh, there's, oh my gosh, looks like a mad scientist lab over there. <laughs> That's completely different. Anyway, no, I, run. I think this is a good stopping point for today. So I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know what you think about the case so far. I, just, I kind of forgot to ask too, but what do you think about... What do you think about Turnabout Serenade, by the way? And what, what do you expect out of this case? Do you expect some great and amazing things? Or, I mean, what was, what was up with them showing Kristoff at the start of this case, huh? I mean, seriously, man. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Maybe there isn't. You know. Anyway, I, I don't know. One, the, one way or another, something is going to happen. And I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. It could be re really anything. Also, I'm going to present all these things to Emma, too. And I'm going to talk to her. Because that's going to be a great thing to do on the next exciting episode, of course. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>